What's up guys, how's it going? Mike Visuals here and welcome back to another Bali vlog. It's going to be an exciting one. We're going to Sumba Island. We're going to be doing some north, up north adventures. And best of all, there's going to be some cheeky FPV runs in there as well. So before we get going to Sumba Island, I want to mention a crucial element of what I do as a filmmaker, and that is audio. Audio is everything when it comes to storytelling, when I'm vlogging, capturing people, anything like that. And I want to discuss the Joby Wavo Pro. It's been my go-to shotgun mic for a while now. And honestly, it's been a game changer. It's lightweight. It's literally it has 60 hours of battery life. So when I'm vlogging on the road, like I am in Bali, I don't have to worry about charging it too often. And the best features of all is honestly the app. The app is amazing. Let me get the app quick. So this is the app. You can, as you can tell, you can set the different audio levels. So you can always make sure that your audio levels are fine and they're not peaking. And let me quickly mention one of the best things I think that this microphone has, and that's the minus 10 safety kind of recording option. When I'm running gunning all the time, sometimes I'm forgetting to change the settings to adjust the different kind of levels for the mic. And I've done that on several occasions, but the Wavo Pro actually records a minus 10 decibel safety recording, which is secondary to your other recording, which will be the main recording, if that makes sense. And you can use that if everything goes wrong, like I have. So that is the Joby Wavo Pro. We're gonna be using it for the rest of the trip, so comment below what you think of the sound quality. And I've been testing it and it's been amazing, uh, especially when I've been kind of running with it, that active noise reduction has come in clutch. So with that said, let's roll the vlog and let's go to Simba. Right guys, first activity, you can call it, FPV flying. This is honestly a really cool way to practice my FPV flying. It's just got a really nice straight palm trees everywhere so I can test out kind of how I am with the sticks. And also if I do crash, fingers crossed I don't, it's gonna be really easy to just pick it up and just reset because you don't wanna be flying sketchy areas when testing and practicing FPV. And honestly, it's gonna look pretty nice with the light. Shooting FPV is really nice to shoot during the, uh, the day just because the GoPro really shines through having the most light it can get. So to be honest, let's just get this FB started and uh, yeah, let's see how you get on. So, bit of a random one to be honest, but I just walked into the toilet and I saw kind of a ray of light coming in. However, it's definitely not strong enough, as you can tell. But, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I've got this thing called the Smoke Genie. It's been, honestly, a game changer with filmmaking. So I've got Keenan here to help me out. And he, we're just gonna get some really nice cinematic shots of his like rings on his hand, his hand basically in the light ray, but utilizing the Smoke Genie. As you can tell, oh, <laughs> We can just fog out this whole room and it's actually gonna look really cool. You can kind of see it come, coming in right now and it's been a really good tool to use for filmmaking. So here's a quick BTS of that and uh, yeah, let's see how these shots turn out. And that is how you turn a bathroom into a cinematic sequence <laughs> onto the next location.
just made it to an amazing beach in Sumba. Gee, out of 10, how good is this beach looking? This is incredible. I hope the camera does it justice. But honestly, this is probably one of the nicest beaches I've uh, been to. It, we've just got this whole section to ourselves and all the way down here, but it actually just looks like a painting on here. But something exciting is going to happen. We're going to get some horses onto the beach and the sunset is just coming down and there's actually like steam coming off the, uh, the sea right now, which is looking amazing as well. So we're going to get some drone stuff, gimbal stuff with the horses and I think it's going to be really cool and something different, you know. I haven't really shot horses on a beach before, so let's, uh, let's just wait for the horses, enjoy this beach and uh, yeah, let's get this sunset.